Brody clean doing work? Hello. How's she cleaning? Hey, find any junk? Not yet. Not yet. Oh. There's some in there. This is the tractor that's also gotten that, what it, ceramic coat and buffing. She's shining up nice. Look at that. It looks brand new. <laughs> that's nice. Even the glass. Look at the glass. Yeah, the glass up. is underneath it. Oh, so we're getting this thing washed up. We got a big upgrade for this tractor coming next week? Next week. So we want to get this thing cleaned up so when we're working on it, it ain't all full of mud and dirt. I see our, I see, we're scrubbing? No, well, yeah, The wheels? I see our paint job really lasts yeah, a long time. Yeah, it lasts very long. Junk. <laughs> Wasted two hours of my life <laughs> that I'll never get back. So that was one of the few tractors that didn't see the vast majority of the mud. So that one, very quick wash job on it, or very easy compared to what we had to do with the fire hose and stuff. But I still managed to soak myself. Oh. So me and Eric are gonna put this hitch on this combine, or so we thought we were going to. Uh, but they have welded up, the axle is different on this one than the 2020 model that it used to be on. So now that plate right there is supposed to bolt on here flush, but now there's a lift there. And we could put it on my combine, but this combine is the one that's going to be on the farm the longest, most likely. What are you, what are you doing? I'm praying right now. <laughs> that could work. I don't think it's that wide though. He's got the parallel arms. So we're thinking of either washers or apparently now a parallel arm, because he's infatuated with those. But I, I would put it on this combine, but like I said, it's lease is up next year and I don't want to go through all the work of taking that off when I know that this combine will probably be the next one traded rather than that one. Choices. Why do they gotta change stuff? This would work. It's lined up, torch two more holes, and then what do you need? Two parallel arms. How many times is it bolted on? And we could use this on the top and washers on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> We're still back to the washer idea. So our idea is to put a, obviously a spacer in there so that it works. We could plasma cut out another hole so that this does our plasma work. cutter work yet? So this lines up, well, no, probably not. We need new tips. So this would work, except the holes on the axle, we may have to make another hole. That and then is the parallel that's, arm that's, where it comes back I into know, play. They always use, you should never throw this stuff away. Uh, <laughs> this is maybe an eighth inch or so thicker than our lip, so we'd clear the lip and not, it wouldn't be touching. Or washers would be easy too. Well, you guys can never give me crap for using parallel arms again. But what you can give crap for is trying to drill through three at once. What's wrong with that? We're going to find with out. With a one inch drill bit and our fancy drill press. And I've center punched this three different times because I can't really <laughs> tell what the center of that circle is. Isn't that beautiful? Well, nonetheless, let's try this. It's a good thing the drill bit's way oversized, so it's essentially a slotted hole. <laughs> we just, there's so much air possibly here that we just oversized everything. Overkill for a spacer? I think so. I like it. I like it. Hope which hole we want. We'll just hit the center of them all. You're walking. Start 
screen in. Oh, it won't. Because oh. it's, a, it's a drill press. It's designed for drilling. Look at how well that's working. This is all around Eric's worst nightmare. A drill. Even on the drill press, whenever I use these, it catches the last little lip and then the metal shoots up and starts spinning and I get cut. This ain't a very fast ordeal. No, but it's precise. Right? I like the aerosol better. Whoa! I think we've completed the first... It stopped! What are you doing? <laughs> I think we made it through the first one. She's bound. It's bound. I have. Look at that hole, though. Like, look at that bit and how fancy that is. Yeah, it's really fancy. It made it halfway through. <laughs> Why does it keep doing that? Parallel arms, huh? You know it. It's not working, though. We got our supervisor here. Yeah, where's your glasses? You're right. Safety first. All right. It took longer than expected, but... Uh, we drilled through three of them successfully. So hopefully our shims will work great. I'm done. You got her. I got it. Little cleaner than torching, but very time consuming also. I think it's half of it is our drill press. It's, it's, she's tired. The, tired. the belt I'm sure is a little, <laughs> little old. I'm sure it's from the 90s. Never been replaced. I think I'm ready for the heavy lifting. Oh good. He's been really, this is how long it took me to drill through <laughs> that. And he was there for half of it. He's already got her unbolted, jacked up. We're ready for install. I'm using a bolt. <laughs> to hit a bolt. Okay. Very nice. Look this, at the oversized drilling this, is here. Is that the right hole? And then we'll, that, yep. that lines up? Yeah. Oh, sure? this, this is. Yeah, we're good. So this is what we got going. This lip wasn't on the other combine. It also is not on my combine. So we made those to basically shim this whole bracket out past that. Pretty simple, actually. I don't know. All right, let's get up there. Wow. Okay, I'll balance, maybe. That's nice. Where's our nuts? Uh, back here still. Let's hold it. Okay. Assemble that stuff on the other side, I suppose, and ram her tight and brackets installed. Even his plier is big Swede sized. Like, look at this thing. Here's. Look at it. Hey. Unbelievable. Hey, focus over here. <laughs> you don't like me making fun of his players. Right this is a man player right here. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That turned out really, really clean, actually. I like it. And look at that. Just a sixteenth of an inch away from that. Very nice. All right, project completed. Um, wasn't too bad. It, it really is quite simple. Um, really simple when you don't have to make new bracket tree, but that project is done, hopefully for five years. And then it's on Brody's combine, so he gets to pull the head. <laughs> All right, next, <laughs> next project is servicing the gearing hop corn head here. Um, we're gonna start with flipping the blades. We've got two seasons on these. The ends are obviously 
the ones that hit gopher mounds along fence lines get the most abuse, but they are reversible, so we're going to flip them, and hopefully that goes smooth, right? Yeah. It's different setup than what a deer is, naturally, but their blades last a lot longer, that's for sure. You look motivated. I need a punch. <laughs> Not from you. A fruit punch? Ooh, that would be good. So, we're going to flip all of these, and then maybe check some gearboxes. We'll see how far we get today. And then, we're going to have to grease it. Can I use this? Can I use a socket as a punch? That might work, actually. <laughs> so I'm not even halfway done with these. So far, my opinion is you need three hands, just like deer. Um, I am Loctiting the bolt that holds them up. Nice part is they're. It's not like deer has that metal piece that kind of connects both blades and you the way I always did is you loosen one a little bit and then take the other one side off and so the plate kind of hangs down you can flip your blade put that back together and then loosen the other one on the other side and its parts don't ever hit the ground which I think is pretty slick on deer uh, this is slick because you don't have to worry about the other side you can just take this one apart and flip it and put it back together and then move to this side. They're two separate bolts, bolt head. So the pain of it is, let me, uh, let me take one apart. So I've got the bolt out and now you gotta either hammer with the socket, I wish this head would go higher, hammer with the socket or air hammer. That takes your blade, and this has got the threads in it. So that's all kind of easy, but where they make it tricky are these two washers. One's like a compression washer. Let's see, flip the blade. So you got to line this up, and then line up the compression one. And then you're fighting gravity, so hold them. And slide it into the hole. Well, you just seen I had to air hammer it out so it doesn't go right back down into the hole. You got to then basically hold that while you start the threads and then tighten the bolt until it actually starts seating into this hole. And at any point, if the washer, which is battling gravity, falls down and gets cockeyed off to the side, you end up pinching it and totally destroying the washer. So that one down there, we're gonna have to get this little thin washer. Who wants to assist me with a bend? I'll go in a bend if I don't have to do this. It's not good. No, it's not good. We're gonna flip them back over. We completed another first, first grain bend of the year. Empty. Oh, yeah. So, we got well, that done. Except for that one that I drained slowly while you guys aren't here. Oh, okay. But it's in my name, so. <laughs> So anyways, while we were doing that, the truck has, there's been a massive deconstruction of the airbag, so I stand we get to here, go work on that. If I stand here and pretend to write stuff down for an hour, will you get that airbag done? No, you're my professional help on that job. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> so, bro, we got the floor all wet, where we gotta work now. I did not. <laughs> No, the floor just gets wet automatically. It wasn't me. This is what we got going. So that's what it's supposed to look like right there, sitting nice and square and straight. It's not supposed to look like that. I gotta get a creeper to dig deeper into this issue, but uh, we're gonna try and get a part number off of that. Hopefully we have that bag on hand. Okay. I don't really know what I'm looking at. I really don't know. I'm gonna have to tear this apart to understand it. Because the bolt's still in there, but yet there's a nut. It must have snapped this off, and you can see it's all corroded and junk. Corrosion? Corrosion, boys. Winter. Minnesota. Salt. Are we bringing them to Colorado? 
We should. Wow. <laughs> that echoes. It's like rusted together. It's a rust weld. Hey, it still has its number on it. Hammer? Most of it de rusting went in, my, went in my eyes, so it shouldn't be on the floor. <laughs> okay, we I think we have the correct airbag we had on hand. It says Timothy trailer, so we should be good. You look cozy there. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we needed the big horsepower, so we, we put him down there. I'm just going to tighten this up with the wrong size wrench. <laughs> okay. You okay? Plug our hose in, last step. Good? Yeah. You don't trust me? I just, you know, double checking's better than hose blowing off down the road. Okay, we've once again got half the toolbox here for three different size bolts. And I've got Nuts. half the trailer rust on me. Well, I'm gonna need to ride home in your pickup because I can't ride mine. Well, that was a fun, you know, end of the day project. Yeah, yeah so we're gonna verify. Well, that, that's what it's supposed to do, I guess, dumping. All right, we're just airing up the pusher to make sure we did everything right. We have no leaks. And... What? Don't look like that. Well, testing. <laughs> First time it's ever seen air. Is it just me or does it look like he got blonde highlights? It was the uh, Florida sun. Look at the flow, how it goes from blonde into the strawberry blonde. Easy now. <laughs> Can okay, just, we're good. Can I just go home and <laughs> put my face in the pillow? <laughs> oh my. Not breathe. Tell this wasn't a fun project. Around. That's why much, not much was recorded of it because there was a lot of just struggling. <laughs> it's 6.01. Yeah. I round up. So that's two hours of overtime. Which since it's 2024, it's not time and a half, it's two times. <laughs> Boy, isn't it something else how you can just make up stuff? We're all about equal pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. You're right, I got this. <laughs> so now that we got the uh, truck all fixed up, I was gonna, I'm looking at the 9530 that Brody washed today, which is absolutely spotless. Let's go to the side. Look at how clean it is. So they did a um, mad garage came out right before harvest and buffed this thing and put a ceramic coat on it and he just texted me and said see if it's still water wicking look at that let's go to a tractor that isn't been ceramic coated Brody's gonna yell at me for doing this by the way I'm sure see the difference that's crazy. And they also put it on the glass in the windows. So the coat is obviously still on there from running it through the harvest season and then pressure washing it. Now it's going to leave streaks though because I used not spot free water. So if you have any interest in getting it buffed, obviously you guys maybe seen this video when they did that. I mean, this thing was so faded out, now it looks like it's showroom clean. Go we'll check the link in the description out and uh, contact them if you got a faded out tractor or even a brand new one. Uh, it was unbelievable. Didn't think our tractors were that faded, that 600 that we did also. And it is a noticeable difference when they're sitting next to another one. You see that problem hasn't uh, fixed itself. Nice.
Oh my. Look at it go. Gotta go. Look at the streaking. <laughs> it don't look like it's mopping I, very well. I got it on high water consumption, but I forgot to, I, the other day when I used it, I uh, pre-soaked the sponge that the water must drip on. I didn't do that, now I see why I, I remember now why I did do it because of this issue. So it's not so automated. It's really, it needs a lot of help, I would say. How much has it done? It's had more. So it's almost done. And uh, it did get hung up. I don't know if I would do too much of that. There's yeah. dust. Yeah, I know. It's not worth the Tinkerbell. Don't know. Look at that. Don't. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's not worth 300. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Do you even smell? Maybe I Let's smell see the, the dust too. Gosh, even the smelling Maybe the dust. No, no. How I about your it. app? Let's see what that looks like. Why do you want to look at that? I want to see how it's doing. Oh uh, well. There it is. It's in the blue room right now. I, I, the purple is a hazard zone because it don't like the carpet over there. <laughs> so I box that off. It also did get stuck over there. I'm gonna have to put another ha hazard zone in. And it, it isn't smart enough. AI, you know? Uh, <laughs> AI. <laughs> so when it gets, it only goes one direction. It'll go around the room and then it chooses I don't know if it's because this room is the longest, but it never wants to change directions. So now where it's at, it's gonna go back and forth in the short. It'd be like combining an <laughs> 80. <laughs> the short way? The short way, it just... It don't have a brain. AI. Maybe the AI will start learning. Maybe it'll be more learn. efficient. Yeah, there you go. We'll come over one day, it'll have figured out how to open up the doors and, <laughs> and uh, vacuum the whole shop, I bet. It's thinking. Now it's gonna get in trouble here with the carpet. Oh, it left a bunch of mud. Look at that. Yeah. It left a bunch that, of mud. That's what I was thinking, that the sponge now is gonna accumulate Look mud. at it, it just wiped the tiny end all over here. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I thought it would do, accumulate the dust on its mop <laughs> and then it'll wipe itself clean on the carpet. So now we need to look into buying a carpet cleaner. <laughs> AI carpet cleaner. <laughs> now I'm gonna tell Amy that she's gotta get get the mop back out. This ain't working. Oh my goodness. It that's where it had a big problem back there, so it's almost like it learned. Not to go over there. <laughs> Maybe it is going to learn as the day goes on here. I got to see how much dust it's kicking up. Do you see any dust in the air? That I do not. So it is maybe, maybe a better vacuum, but it's missing dirt. Uh oh! Man! Why is it going back there again? It's spinning out! It's it's stuck! Yeah. <laughs> Taco, it's it'll, stuck! It'll start going into its fifth here now shortly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just like you! It gets stuck in the oddest areas of the field. <laughs> He's gonna burn his rubber tire off there. Come on, man. <laughs> Should I kick it? Then we have a power shutdown. Oh, hey, it got loose. Look at how fast he bursted out of that stuck zone. Yeah. Oh, it's he knew gonna, he wasn't supposed yeah. to be there. See, now this is just like, everybody's got to go back and look where they got stuck. It's going to check it out again. <laughs> oh, the wanger. Come on. Whoa. It's out of control now. It's lost its auto steer line. It's it's gone. It's over. Oh, nope. It's back. It's found its line again. 
it is some interesting technology. I will give it that. Just not at all for the work zone that we need. Oh gosh, she's spinning. She's a two track, two track. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> They're not gonna take the world over yet. Look at that big chunk of mud it just rolled over. Oh, my mistake. It looked like mud from my point of view. No, I just don't. It's not gonna cut the mustard. Maybe if somebody... Hey, look at how well the mop is working now since it got stuck and yeah, kept spe it, spitting water out. It's all really mopping do, good now. It's not enough water applied <laughs> is the problem here. <laughs> it's a little mop to, for like a whole... Gonna have to pre-moisten it, no doubt about it. <laughs> <clears throat> well, you know how mopping works. You gotta clean, like, well, clean it. Then you send it over to the carpet where it wipes itself off. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice attempt at getting out of labor, but we'll be back with the old mop. Oh my! This one, I don't think it's gonna make it out of this one. Oh, oh, she's loose again! You gotta put the chairs up. Yeah. Return to the dock to charge. So it just tried to go around or underneath that and then it just it couldn't make it so now it's apparently going home. I will say that I find this thing very intriguing. A little, a little under halfway to yeah. <laughs> It's charging. You, now what they, happens? Do they know what we named it? Can they zoom in to the name of the thing? Junk pile. Junk pile. <laughs> we might change it though. But as of now, it's it's on the trial basis of junk pile. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to offload. It should do that, unless it didn't get enough to want to offload. <clears throat> I don't know. Offload! Start cleaning. Oh, I started it up again. <clears throat> well, maybe we should... Abort! Make, maybe we should make them do it over. Is it like a turtle? You don't want to Ouch. grab it at one side? It's kind of like a, the turtle's feet when they stick out. Wheels are not in contact with the ground. Please reposition the robot and start Is that again. dry? Oh, it's... So it's actually... Just as it's finishing... It's just getting wet. <laughs> That's dry over there. Yeah. I should have pre-soaked it. Yeah. Uh, Who could ever imagine such entertainment from such a... I think if my oh, hoodie string got in there. That's your mop, huh? Yeah. And that's... What did it do? About three acres so far? <laughs> I don't know. Water tank has been removed. This was free, right? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> after they... No, it was $100 <laughs> off. Oh, no, then you got to say you saved $100 today. Yeah. That's the... Uh, I'm going to go wash this off. Female version of shopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, we never did get back to this project, and it's now quitting time, and Jean's texting me, where are you at? 7 o'clock. So, you know, I better keep the wife happy and get home. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. We're trying to get to 400,000 subscribers. We're really close, so... Please, please subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.